Brethren, be renewed in the spirit of your mind and put on the new man. We are nearing the end, the end of the liturgical year. And we'll see more and more in the Gospels of the Sunday uh, this warning. The warning of that final calling by our Lord where we go to settle our accounts. We have to give an accounting of our stewardship. This Gospel is unique in how it presents this thought to our minds. Many are called, but few are chosen. I would say, moreover, the choice is ours to join our Lord and Our Lady in the battle. You see, we're in a warfare, battle for our souls. And so it's very important that we wake up to this every day and we go forth ready to fight. Today is a battle, a fight for my salvation. If we don't take part, we will most certainly lose. And so we need to be in league with our Lord. For he, like us, wants us to succeed, and he gives us the means to do so. He gives us everything we need, but we need to be proactive. We need to wake up and first thing, make that morning offering. Make that intention. I'm going to do all things today for God, all things for good, all things for my salvation. But how? How can I win this battle today? It's very simple. Come to the wedding feast. Our Lord has invited you. He's provided you. He's prepared many good things for you throughout the day. Just to see the sacrifices in abundance that are there. As I've said many a times, all these things that seem inconsequential can be elevated and raised to a higher plane. Do them for the love of God. Do, do things for the charity of your neighbor. And especially if you do these little things very well. You're going to be successful in the spiritual life because what's the main problem? When we grow and advance in the spiritual life, in comes pride. And pride takes over and, and sucks away all the merit. So we do them for ourselves. We do them for vain glory. But when we do little things, when we make little sacrifices... It's very difficult to be prideful. And so these are great weapons against the devil's malice. Whether you eat or drink, do all for the love of God. So we have the means of coming to the spiritual banquet all the day long. And now we have the admonition to reset our focus. Brethren, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. We're called again to remember this life is passing. This world is passing. We need to seek heaven. We need to be focused on that. We're in a spiritual battle, so let us fight this spiritual battle. Let us use the means that God gives us. Fight to practice virtue. You have to fight yourself, your unwillingness to suffer, to sacrifice. Putting away lying, speak ye the truth. Be angry and sin not. Give not the devil place. And so it's very important that we fill our hearts with love and truth as the devil is the father of lies and of hate. It's very important that we we advance in the spiritual life, in an interior life. Fill ourselves with, with the gospel truths. Fill ourselves with the stories of the saints and their sacrifices. So that we can, we can be emulsified in this virtue. Completely saturated with the idea of gaining heaven above all things. And most importantly, go to the Blessed Virgin Mary. As we know, she crushes the head of the serpent. And it's very important, let us remember, this is the month of the Holy Rosary. Mostly over. How have we done in increasing our devotion to the Rosary? 
Have we prayed extra rosaries, extra decades even, to honor our Blessed Mother, to pray for those who have no idea they need to pray? We can still make an increased effort to the end of the month. The place special emphasis on it, and I'd read from this, the booklet given to me by Father Benedict called Our Glorious Faith and How to Lose It. Quote, when the rosary goes, the faith soon collapses. I remember someone telling me of a friend of his, a great Catholic, the pillar of the parish, whose children had all lapsed, one after the other. They had all fallen away from the sacraments and from attending Mass. So I said to him, I wouldn't mind betting that your friend had been brought up to recite the family rosary when he was a boy, and that his children haven't. The next time I saw him, he said that this was indeed true. His friend had recited the family rosary at home when he was a boy, and when he had got married and started his own family, they all said the rosary. But then one evening, when they were about to start the rosary, one of the children switched on the television, and that was that. The custom of the family rosary was dropped, and in due course, they gave up the practice of the faith. This is just one example among many of the importance of the rosary. In opposition to this, I would say the common denominator of traditional Catholics, that we have the true faith, is that we pray the rosary. Our Blessed Mother protects us from the errors of the, of the modern church, from the errors of the world. It's very important we instill these this, this habit in our, our children, this mindset of going to the Blessed Virgin Mary, of realizing the truth of, the, of life, that we're here to prove our love for God. We're here to sacrifice. And as our Blessed Mother even said, for those who cannot, for those who do not pray for themselves, who do not sacrifice for themselves, and this we have on, on Mission Sunday, Remembering, we're all called to be missionaries of Christ. We're all part of this mission of preaching the gospel. We have an obligation to live, if we're followers of Christ, Christians, we have an obligation to live as Christ showed us how to live, to make an effort here. And this is our mission. By our example, we will lead people to the faith being good Catholics. Many people we know are in debilitating illnesses on the verge of death. People in the world who have no idea of religion or of faith. And so we need to make the, de the decision, the choice, to be a part of Our Lady's Army to go out and preach the faith by our example, by our efforts. We're not meant to be here. We're all going to pass away. This world is going to pass away. But are we ready for it? Are we alive to the daily battle of our souls? Let us prepare with our rosary in hand, remembering many are called, but few are chosen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen.